Number 41. For a given amount of gas showing ideal behavior, draw labeled graphs for, and now we have letter B. So we have to basically draw a graph of what's going to happen with volume, oop, with volume and temperature, right? They said the variation of volume with temperature. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw my little axes here. And if we have volume with temperature, generally speaking, the temperature is going to be your independent axis. So it's going to be in the x-axis, temperature. And then the volume is going to be the dependent. So it's going to be over here. Okay, in order to find out what's going on, whether it's a straight line um, down or whether it's going to curve or, you know, do any crazy stuff, it has to come from the ideal gas equation, right? And that's this one, PV equals nRT. Now, basically, you just have to focus in on the two variables that they're talking about. In this case, we care about volume and we care about temperature. So I don't care about any of these other things, right? So mainly, we could just kind of say bye-bye. When we do that, we're just assuming that everything else is remaining constant. But basically, we have V equals T, this idea that if you have volume on one side, it might equal to T. But now we're just doing comparisons. So let's just say that the volume on this side increases. If this side of the equal sign increases, what's going to happen to this side of the equal sign? Yeah, I mean, since they equal each other, the temperature has to go up as well. And if the volume decreases and this side decreases, what's going to happen to this side? It's going to decrease. Because we are seeing the same thing happen between the both of them, we can say that volume and temperature are directly related. So direct relationships is when if one thing increases, the other thing increases. And what they're saying is we need to make a relationship between V and T. And V and T are directly related, so that's a linear line. So we know that this is going to be a linear graph. So if one increases, the other one has got to increase. So as temperature rises, so does the volume. And that's it. And maybe I'll just make it a little bit straighter. I'll use my straightening tool. And that's it. There you go. So beautiful. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. We got a, a couple of more questions from this number. So hang tight if you want to see C or D. But I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.